Hello once again everyone, MonkeyDo22 here for another Xbox tip. In this video I'm going to explain what IPv6 is and what benefits it brings to the Xbox One and how you'll check on the console to see if you're currently using it or where to go to enable it. So what is IPv6 exactly? Well for starters, IPv6 stands for Internet Protocol Version 6 and is the successor to IPv4. Basically, IPv6 brings several improvements, including expanding the number of network possible IP addresses, which are essentially the unique numbers that represent every single device on the internet. But more importantly, what's useful for the Xbox side is that it removes the need for Network Address Translation, or NAT, which can interfere with multiplayer gaming or chat over IPv4 networks. Think of all those times where you can't connect to different multiplayer lobbies for one reason or another. This resolves all of those issues. So what happens if your Xbox One console isn't connected using IPv6? Well, your Xbox One will still work normally using IPv4 connectivity. However, for the best possible experience, Microsoft and Xbox recommends you to enable IPv6 when and if at all possible. Several Xbox One features are already making use of IPv6 and more are in the works. So how can you tell if you're using IPv4 or IPv6 on the Xbox One console? It's quite simple. Here's how to check. On the Xbox dashboard, open the guide by sliding left on the controller, or double tapping the Xbox button on the controller. Then scroll down to Settings, and hit A on All Settings. From the Settings menu, go ahead and highlight Network, and press A on Network Settings. If your Xbox One has IPv6 connectivity, your current network status will read IPv4 and IPv6. To see your actual IP address and gateway addresses, just select advanced settings. So what do you do if you're seeing IPv4 on the console, but you want to change this to IPv6 to resolve any sort of NAT issues? First, you need to make sure that your network equipment supports IPv6. While some home networking devices support IPv6, they disable it by default. You'll want to check the manual for your internet devices to ensure IPv6 connectivity and compatibility. Or you can visit the Xbox Networking Hardware Information Support Forum for additional information. Keep in mind, though, that for the most up-to-date information, you're going to want to contact your network hardware manufacturer. So while it's possible that your network can support IPv6, if you're sure that your network is set up properly for IPv6, but you're still showing IPv4 on your console, your ISP may not be using the IPv6 protocol currently. So it's best to contact your internet service provider for more information as to the availability of IPv6 in your area. That's all for this Xbox tip video. If you like this video and you want to see more of the same, please consider subscribing to my channel and give the video a like if it was helpful. Be sure to share it with your friends as well as consider supporting me and this channel by becoming a patron of mine on Patreon. I'll have a link in the description with more information on how to become a patron or other ways to support this channel. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'm MonkeyDo22 as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. Check us out at community.xbox.com ambassadors and I'll see you on Xbox Live.